Hey everyone, Big Mac here. So here we go with part two of my top ten Super Mario games. Um, I'll just do a really, really brief recap. Number ten was New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Number nine was Lost Levels. Number eight, Galaxy 2. Number seven, Super Mario 3. And number six, Mario Sunshine. So now we're getting into the top five, and a lot of questions will be answered. You know, how will Super Mario World 64 and Galaxy compare? You know, and what other surprises may be in store? So let's get going. Number five, Super Mario Brothers 2. When I first started playing this game, I enjoyed this game. I liked that you could play as Mario, you could play as Luigi, Toad, or the Princess. I thought that the enemies were all different. I thought that was interesting. It's a brand new world to explore. A brand new world. Oh dear, I must be getting late. I'm singing. But, you know, of course, once I discovered, you know, more recent, much more recently, about the whole Doki Doki Panic Super Mario USA thing, do I feel jaded? Yes. But... I didn't play Super Mario Bros. 2 because it was a Mario game. I might have picked it up because it was a Mario game. But I went back and I kept renting Super Mario Bros. 2 because it was an exciting and good game. I liked that the, and the I liked the way that it was all broken up. I liked the different stages. I liked the enemies. I liked the environments. And you know, so in its own, I thought it was a really awesome game. And, of course, we haven't heard from Wart in forever. And, of course, it all turned out that the whole thing was a dream. Which, you know, we still get. You know, in terms of cliches. But, you know, but this game is still very awesome. And I also like the do-do-do-do from the um, slot machines. But I mean, I think yeah, Mario's two is Mario two is probably the one of the yeah the easiest one to just pick up and play. And of course, it had that replayability that you could you know do it with different characters and see what kind of shortcuts you could make. Number four, Super Mario World. Super Mario World is the first game in this list that I do not own. I never owned Super Mario World, even though I had my Super Nintendo. I would always have to go to my cousin's cousin's place and play Super Mario World there. And that is why, that is one of the reasons why Super Mario World is this high up on the list. I mean, it introduced a lot of new things, you know, it was Yoshi, it was more of the Koop Kids, it was more levels, more challenges. I loved, you know, all the different levels. I loved Star Road. I love the different ways to get into there, especially when you find the special stages at the end. That was that was that was a fun challenge at the end. Um, but Super Mario World, it just really, you know, it it's what brought me and my cousin closer together. I think, um, you know, it started off with Super Mario World, and that is something I would never never change. Coming in at number three. Mario 64. And Mario 64 only continued that same trend because I did not own Mario 64. My cousin owned Mario 64. Hmm, why am I yawning? I'm sorry. But again, I remember Christmas of 96, we got an N64 with Mario 64. And we just started playing that. We saw Mario jump out of the tube. We saw this whole 3D environment with Locky 2 and the slide and the big bombs and we felt it, it it was love this was like you know love at first sight you know and 120 stars later when you finally go outside and you just you discover that the little cannon is now open who do you find on top Yoshi I love that too at the end I mean you know it would have been nice to have made Yoshi available in the game and that's what they did with the um, DS remake Mario 64 DS, but I, and I, I never have never played that one too. But I guess that would kind of fall in place with the, with this one. But Mario 64 and you know in addition to you know the music 
in Super Mario World 64 just took it to a whole up another level. I remember um, back when I used to subscribe to Nintendo Power, I had the option of either getting a free like when where I bought it instead of getting like a, you know like a subscriber special. Um, I bought this kit and it came with a CD, and I could either get Mario Kart 64 or Super Mario 64 soundtrack. And I wound up getting the Mario 64 soundtrack, and I just loved it. I still have it. I still have that soundtrack, and I still listen to it on occasion. I mean, if you guys look in my videos, I have a video of me trying to play the Piranha Plants Lullaby on guitar. And Dire Dire Docks, again, how can you argue with that? And, of course, the slide. Everybody loves the slide. But yeah, Mario 64 was just, you know, it wasn't just Mario's introduction into the 3D world. It was our introduction into 3D gaming. So, you know, we have so much to thank for that. Number two, Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy I do own, and I played that with my cousin to know, you know, to its full extent as well. And just like Super Mario World, just like Super Mario 64, it was this a massive, beautiful world for us to explore. And what made Galaxy all the more stunning was the story. I thought that the story in Galaxy is probably, you know, one of the, the better panned out, uh, you know, stories in a Mario game. It's not just, you know, Peach got kidnapped again. Yay. But we had all these new characters. We had Rosalina. We had the Lumas. We had Starbits. You know, Polestars. We had all these different things that we now got introduced to. And that just made this Mario universe a lot more tangible. And, of course, the other thing that... I mentioned this in my Galaxy 2 uh, review, but I effing loved the storybook. I thought that the storybook was an amazing idea that they put into this game. I just, I thought it was beautiful. And the closest thing to art that I have ever seen in terms of a video game. Like, I genuinely do believe that Galaxy is art. So, what, and that's, that, and the beautiful music, the beautiful, eh, that whole game is just beautiful. And, you know, I've gone back and I've played it time and time again because I love that game. But why is it only number two? Because there is one game that everybody seems to forget for some reason, but I this is my favorite Mario game. Mario Clash for the Virtual Boy. I mean, this game was so much fun. I mean, you got to run around, you know, you had to kill the little Koopa Troopas, get kill all the Spideys and all the bad guys, you had to make it to the top of Clash Tower in order to, you know, save the day. Oh, this is not a Super Mario game. Uh, girl. Okay, disqualified. Um, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Number one, I guess we'll have to be... Oh, yeah. Super Mario Brothers. Of course. And, you know, it can only make sense. I mean, yes, it's, you know, the game that everybody's played. and But for many people, it was their first video game. It was my first video game, you know, when... I got an NES when I was like three or four, you know, so you start running around with Mario, you kill the Goombas, you learn to save the princess, and I think that's where our modern concept of uh, chivalry comes from, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I mean, you know, you've got this lowly um, guy, Mario, just a plumber. You know, he has to go and save the princess and the damsel in distress, the princess, from this evil monster, you know, dragon, reptile, which we know as Bowser, or King Koopa. And so, like, this, it's, it's, it totally banks on medieval, um, folklore that, you know, we've all grown up with. And it just makes it a very more modern ideal. And I remember one of the, Reason, like, I remember somebody asked, why does Mario wear suspenders? And 
I remember they were saying that it was because of the limited graphics that they could do at the time. The suspenders was like the one thing that one piece of distinctive clothing that they could put on Mario. And so even though it started off as something really simple, you know, Super Mario has just become this massive thing. I mean, we've got at least 10 games here that I've talked about over the last 20 years, you know, and, you know, it's hard pressed to find another video game, you know, character like that. That's, you know, has that, that much longevity, you know, I mean, sure, some have come and gone, but it's hard to say, you know, where we'll be in 10 years. I don't know, but this has been just a countdown of my favorite Super Mario games. This is Big Mac saying, later.